Hello, this is Ask Michael Show, where you ask your productivity questions and I answer them. Let's go. Basically, if you've uh, heard my answer to Evernote and Nosby, I keep uh, I keep them separately. So I try to keep reference materials in Evernote or on Dropbox as files, and then keep actionable stuff in Nosby and then link them together through the integration of Evernote and Dropbox. But you can also store things in Nosby. So for example, you can create a, a task and put it like at the bottom of the, of the list and, and then just add comments there. And because Nosby can accept so many types of comments, you can just attach things uh, to Nosby. And the cool thing is with Nosby attachments, if you attach a, a file directly to Nosby, so upload it directly to Nosby, what happens is that um, it is stored on our servers in, a, in an encrypted way. So it's totally encrypted, uh, which is really, really safe. And uh, in Nosby, when you upload the file, it's stored, it's stored encrypted um, on our servers. And we use Amazon infrastructure, infrastructure for that. And the encryption keys are on a different servers than the files themselves. So even if people have, uh, like the admins have access to the files, physically they don't, cannot decrypt them. They cannot see them. So it's really, really safe. This is why many lawyers have been using Nosby right now uh, to store their documents and important important uh, contracts. Um, so, what, so this is really easy. So a task uh, which is not actionable and just add a comment and then upload the file there. You can also uh, attach comments uh, and, and, and uh, notes and files directly to a project. So when you go to I, like the info section of Nosby, and, and then, then you can see attachments and you can just uh, attach uh, a file uh, to the project. So this way, this information stays with the project. So for example, in our um, company project called The Firm, uh, we have a note with the, um, with the most important information, like the company the information that when people buy things for the company that they have access to, um, uh, they know the, how to invoice the company and things like that. So, uh, and, and the telephone numbers of some people, like all these, like all this, you know, needed information, we store it in the project information. So there, so there are a few ways, you know, to store this. Uh, I would still encourage you to use dedicated apps like, you know, Dropbox and Evernote for the reference materials and then link them to Nosby um, uh, to actionable stuff. But you can also store the information there.